Hi everyone, Tom Ray with Mr. Mold, and today we're going to talk about toxic mold versus allergenic mold. And a lot of people are concerned when they have mold, uh, they want to know if it is harmful, if they could become sick, and uh, you know, what is the difference between allergenic mold and toxic mold. Uh, allergenic mold is a common type of mold in the environment. Um, it is basically in the, um, in the air we breathe every day. Uh, it's the type of mold that a lot of people refer to as mildew. Uh, if you ever go into a shower and you look between the, the grout of the tile, you'll see some dark or green, um, and that is mildew, and that is uh, allergenic type mold. It's not toxic. Um, allergenic mold is very common, as I mentioned, outdoors. Uh, it's very helpful in the environment. It breaks down dead matter like leaves and uh, it's very essential in the whole ecosystem of how things work uh, and it is very common. Our immune systems are for the most part uh, adapted to handling it, breathing it in and in some cases some people have an allergy to mold. Uh, these people who are allergic to mold and uh, specifically allergenic type mold uh, will feel respiratory uh, issues, they will feel lethargic, headaches, um, blurriness in vision, uh, they might even get a skin rash when they're exposed to allergenic type mold. And most people who have a normal healthy immune system and we come into contact with allergenic mold, our body is able to handle uh, inhaling and exhaling it and there's no effect. Now toxic mold is a little bit different toxic mold is a uh, couple of species of mold and fungal with which is able to um, cause more severe illnesses and the medical community is still out there doing research on it but for the most part the process is that during the uh, digestive process uh, when mold is eating protein off building material or dead matter it omits a mycotoxin. And I had talked about this in a previous uh, episode. Uh, it creates a smell, and that's a, a volatile organic compound, an MVOC. And it's a toxic vapor, a toxic gas. And molds like Stachybotrys, which uh, is a black mold, is commonly uh, referred to when people talk about toxic mold, uh, is very harmful and it's harmful to anyone, healthy immune system uh, included. Uh, for the most part, when you're dealing with mold, a uh, person that has a compromised immune system is at a disadvantage when they're exposed to mold. Uh, elderly um, and even uh, developing uh, immune systems in infants have a problem when they are um, inhaling or when they're in an environment that uh, consists of toxic mold. Uh, so basically, if you suspect you have toxic mold, if you see a very dark, uh, tar-like substance on building material, specifically sheetrock and wood and insulation, it's possible that it's toxic. Uh, you should consult to a professional. And if you are in the environment outside and you're breathing in normal air and you, know, you have some allergenic mold out there on certain days when it's windy, um, you know, you might feel uh, respiratory constriction uh, or other uh, issues. This could be that you're allergic to mold and you should see an allergist. An allergist will provide you with a test and the test will tell if you are allergic to mold. Uh, some other tests that they do is if you're allergic to pollen and, uh, you know, so basically I think that if you are someone who knows when you walk into an environment and you feel these ways, you might want to consult with an allergist. So that's what we have for today. Thank you, and we'll see you again soon. Bye-bye.